Let's now look at the last second, it's the fourth second. Cruise during. Well, it's going from minus three to plus six, and it's a straight line, so the velocity is constant. If the velocity is constant, then you can immediately conclude that A is zero, there's no acceleration. And it goes nine meters in a time span of one second. But it's now nine meters per second. So the object first went from positive values of x to zero and to negative values for x. During all that time, the velocity was negative by our sign convention, and now the velocity, it goes back to plus six, the velocity becomes plus nine meters per second. What is the story at the end of the four seconds? Well, all I can say is that x equals plus six. I don't know much more. I don't know what the velocity is, neither do I know what the acceleration is. The plot stops there anyhow. Now I would think that it is reasonable to ask the following question. What is the average velocity, for instance, between time zero and time four? Average velocity. We define average velocity as the position at time four seconds minus the position at time zero divided by four. That is our definition. At zero it is at plus six, at four it is at plus six, so the upstairs is zero. So the average velocity during this four second trip is zero. You may not like that. It may go against your intuition. Of course, I couldn't agree more with you, but that's the way we define velocity. Speed is defined differently. Speed is the magnitude of the velocity vector. And the speed, therefore, always has a positive value.